Hi guys. What's wrong with you? How do you stay safe if you are experiencing road rage? In this video, we will continue with what to do when you are the main character of road rage. Let's go! This guy kept yelling and swearing at people on the bus to open the door for him. He then climbed up the broken window and easily got on the bus. A woman yelled at a Native American man in the middle of the street in Portland, Oregon during a road rage incident. They kept on cursing each other out without paying attention to anything around them. Let's see how this story unfolds. Key to the road rage can overwhelm a person's mind. So, when you're about to face road rage, it's best to calm your breathing and breathe evenly to keep your mind at ease. An Asian man was attacked in a road incident on I-95 near exit 2A in the Bronx. The driver of a BMW stopped a minivan and used excessive force on the Asian man. The man then tried to get into the BMW, but the driver drove away shortly after. The road rage that happened in Boston this morning would have been nothing if those two men hadn't stopped and stubbornly joined in the road rage. Ah, uh, even though they were quite far away, the curse is probably still echoed throughout the neighborhood. If this were the ring, they would be professional boxers, but if this were the streets, they could only rage on the streets. I guess red lights don't mean anything anymore. To ensure safety while driving, it is best to observe everything around you and look behind through the rearview mirror to grasp the traffic situation from behind. I have no problem with motorbikes turning left. However, there are two left turn intersections. Please obey the rules to avoid unnecessary trouble. I myself often ride motorbikes even when I'm in a hurry, but I always obey the rules and turn left in two stages. In the video, I was confused when a motorbike suddenly stopped. Blocking the road like this not only affects the traffic behind, but also makes it difficult for the driver to control the situation. How can road rage make people crazy? 
we can see that this guy's aggression comes from losing control of his emotions, leading to actions that go beyond the limit. When you are angry, hold your fist for five seconds. This will help you limit your anger a lot. Try it. This man tried to take a water bottle from an Australian cyclist and ended up in a road rage incident shortly afterwards. Luckily, there was a police car behind him, so the incident didn't get too heated. August 17th, 2016, 5.30 p.m. The camera recording this time is one hour. Three scooters illegally used the shoulder to move on to La Verde Avenue between Alonzo Bridge and 50th Street, followed by a man who gets out of his vehicle, a Mazda 3, which had previously cut three motorbikes, to insult three young men. Meanwhile, another vehicle, similar in appearance to a Toyota Corolla, illegally uses the shoulder to control on the 50th bridge. Police were chasing a woman who had stolen a car from a car dealership, and this is what happened next. The car tried to pull over to the right side of the road to escape, but due to traffic jams, it crashed into another car. Police quickly arrived and arrested the woman. Taxi driver and cyclist were angry on the road. According to the news, I heard the cyclist was not paying attention and crashed into a car, but he was very aggressive and showed no remorse. Because of a small misunderstanding, they are ready to rush into road rage. Is this worth it? If you're one of these people, what will you do? Leave a comment to let us know. On July 10, 2023, in Kenosha, Wisconsin, police officers were dispatched to a home after viewing surveillance footage at a local school office of a woman, identified as Brittany, being rude to another woman. According to reports, Brittany was dating the woman's ex-boyfriend and had a personal grudge against her. Door, come out. Brittany, it's police. You don't come out. We're going to kick the door in. We're not going to beat her up. We never were going to beat her up. Cover this front door here. I got it. It's coming out this door. He said she's coming right now. It took officers approximately 15 minutes to remove Brittany from the home, where she became uncooperative and began yelling at officers until she was placed in a patrol car. Brittany continued to yell all the way to the police station. No, you do not need to touch me like this. I am under that bitch as hard as you could. Pig. Oh, are you okay? You, yeah, you literally hit the pole. The one pole wasn't out, was still in. Can somebody take that out pull out? You back straight to it. No, I didn't. Are you okay? Did I ask you? No, this car is a lot. Here, turn, turn off the engine. Just get out. Shut it down. It's in park. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Yeah, I had a small issue here, dude. Is there any way to tell if a person has just got his driver's license, or is it just learning to drive? Maybe this guy's actions will answer that question. The Toyota driver didn't even look to the right as he left the parking lot. Luckily, nothing serious happened. Four cars were damaged.
Sebalon Police Chief Jonathan Hemphill is facing criticism for his treatment of other Georgia police officers during a traffic stop in a neighboring town on August 26. Body camera video shows Hemphill becoming angry after confronting two Molina police officers who stopped him for having tinted windows and a ghost tag. That, that tag not even on file. I see, yes. Well, what, why are you being hostile? Easy. I don't, I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking to you. Why are you being hostile? Do, do y'all, are y'all going to write me a ticket? Literally. While I was driving, these two young men deliberately swerved and stopped in front of my car, making it impossible for me to move. Not only that, these two young men also shouted at me and said I deliberately drove into them. When the police asked this man to stop the car to check him, he did not cooperate and even cursed at the police, forcing the police to use strong measures to suppress him. Many police cars were mobilized to suppress crime on the street. When reaching the corner, the red car was quickly surrounded and suppressed by the police. Get your dash cam today. God, the things that happened at the Excelsior Springs. Oh. oh my God. I get around the light. If you like our content, leave a comment below with the number one. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos. This is why I often recommend that you have a dash cam. The road adventures end soon. Guess they'd better be on the road.
be wary of harmless things on the road, especially when it rains. This driver learned that going the fastest on the road is not always the best choice. Hope this lesson helps you. If you can't respect motorcyclists on the road, you shouldn't drive. This idiot wasn't paying attention and was speeding at the intersection for no reason, and then had road rage. This white rider has only one mission in life, which is to travel on the highway they don't care about anything else. Reckless overtaking will not only result in a fine, but will also result in driving points being deducted. Did you see that?
12 hours naturally. The shipwreck is a harrowing experience. Oh, Salazar told you about the wreck. He didn't have to, I knew. You are not the first to founder of Ship Trap Island. <sighs> this is ship. Yes. And the most amusing spot, I guarantee. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Remember that rushing through intersections can take you by surprise. Well, it, it had been about a year in the last Norton before that. Uh -huh. Maybe I caught Louis C.K. too at the end. Uh, but, you know, to go out per on purpose, we're going to go to see guys. We're going to go see a show. Like on purpose. Yeah. Section, everything's blocked off. This video is proof that road rage can happen on any drive. Interrupting others is never cool. Another red light runner causes a crash in Excelsior Springs.